a growing number of Republicans are refusing to vote for Donald Trump. My next guest is one of them. Joining me now, Republican Pennsylvania Congressman Charlie Dent. Congressman, thank you very much for being with us. Uh, as we talk today, there's a new Franklin and Marshall poll, a battleground state poll showing uh, Hillary Clinton up 11 points in Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania is critical to Donald Trump's uh, somewhat narrow path to victory through the Rust Belt. Uh, is this, does this poll reflect what you're hearing out in the district? Well, thank you, Andrea, for having me on the show. Yeah, I saw the poll came out. I haven't broken down the cross tabs, but uh, it's pretty clear to me that uh, these recent comments uh, have not helped Donald Trump's campaign. And I'm, that's putting it mildly. Uh, I would tell you that uh, Hillary Clinton probably has a strong advantage in the Philadelphia, in Philadelphia in the Collar counties, which is close to 40 percent of Pennsylvania's population. Donald Trump has a lot of strength in the western part of the st state and what we call the upper T. Uh, he is he is strong there. But uh, the point is, uh, you know, all these incendiary comments, all these uh, uh, these unforced errors, uh, are, I think, are hurting the campaign. I mean, it just uh, it just seems that he's at times hell bent on. Uh, losing a very winnable election to a very seriously flawed candidate in Hillary Clinton. And I was on the campaign trail with her through Pennsylvania into Ohio, uh, so she just had the impact of that bus trip. How is that perceived, you know, just looking at it uh, from a political expert? Oh, I don't know. I, yeah, she had the bus trip. I don't know if that did a lot to help her. I, I think really that her her bump in the polls is more a reflection of, I think, Donald Trump, Trump's reaction right now to the Khan family's uh, situation. I think that is really what's uh, probably driving it right now. This, this seemingly, uh, uh, this chaos in the Trump campaign is uh, unfortunately, uh, you know, driving her numbers up. And like I said, I've, that's why I'm not prepared to support uh, Donald Trump uh, for that and other reasons. But it's just uh, inexplicable. And also the comments, too, on foreign policy on Russia. And Ukraine. I mean, having to walk back the statement that you know Russia you know, won't enter Ukraine when in fact they've already annexed Crimea and they're in eastern Ukraine. I mean, these are the kinds of issues that are are giving a lot of heartburn, not only to me but to many of my of my friends in the Republican Party. You know, we you look at the you look at the crowning foreign policy achievement of Ronald Reagan and, and George H. W. Bush was the dismantlement of the former Soviet Union, and then you know to have the Republican nominee seem like he's you know s s saddling up next to the. Uh, to this neo-Russian uh, imperialist who's who's trying to disrupt the post-Cold War order that we, the United States, led this this order after the, the the Berlin Wall came down, the Soviet Union collapsed. It just seems it flies in the face of what many of us as Republicans have stood for. So, what are you going to do? What's that? What are you going to do? What was that? Whom are you going to vote for? Whom are you well, going to support? Well, like I said, I'm not supporting Hillary Clinton under any circumstances. Uh, I, I certainly believe that her uh, mishandling of a classified material uh, recklessly and negligently you should disqualify her from serving as commander in chief. Uh, and I've expressed my you know, my concerns about Donald Trump. So I don't know. I might have to write somebody in. I like Secretary Rob, Robert Gates. <laughs> He's a fine man. There are plenty of other people, but uh, I just feel like many Americans right now are just very unhappy uh, with the choices of the two major uh, political parties. Uh, and uh, and we're going to have to think about this as we move closer to the election. But uh, like I said, I'm not prepared to endorse our nominee. Are you going to vote Libertarian? Would you consider supporting that ticket? Well, what supporting supporting who? Hillary Clinton? The, no. no, the Libertarian gonna... ticket. Oh no, um, no. I Gary mean, look, Johnson. Uh, Gary Johnson. I, 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 I have a lot of respect for uh, uh, Governor Weld. He's a good man. I don't know Gary Johnson. I think that ticket should be reversed, actually. Uh, I think, you know, Gary Johnson's made some statements, too, uh, something like he wasn't going to smoke dope between now and the election. That's not uh, particularly encouraging or inspiring. Uh, but, no, I'm not, I'm not there either. So uh, a lot of my colleagues, you know, my, I know my colleague Adam Kinzinger was on uh, some shows today right. uh, stating, stating similar things that I have. And uh, my other colleague, I'm one of the co-chairs of the center-right group in Congress, the Tuesday group. Uh, myself, Bob Dold, and Adam Kinzinger, and all of us have taken pretty much the same position uh, right now, and we're you know, we're going to have some more conversations about how we deal with this moving forward. But we're just not prepared to embrace our nominee. Well, there has been some reporting that there are even people within the party who were talking, especially after what uh, Trump said about Paul Ryan and upsetting uh, Ryan's Priebus, who's so close to Paul Ryan. There is even talk about a scenario where the party would invoke Rule Nine and try to. You know, take back the nomination from him and come up with another choice. Is that complete fantasy? Well, I don't know if that's uh, possible or not. 
be perfectly candid, but I don't see this is a, a mystery to me. Why would the nominee poke a stick in the face of the speaker, the titular head of the Republican Party? I mean, it just makes no sense. Paul Ryan is going to win his primary by a huge margin. Why even begin to pick a fight with him? Or why restart a fight with John McCain and Kelly Ayotte, two important, very important senators to maintaining our majority? Uh, and why would he pick a fight with them? I mean, he talks about unity on the one hand, uh, but then, you know, it seems to involve himself in the speaker's primary and, and also, again, fighting with John McCain, who he previously uh, demeaned his service as a POW. I mean, uh, I just, it's just inexplicable and almost incomprehensible to me. If you're trying to win, you wouldn't be saying things like this. Well, Congressman Charlie Dent from Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania is, you know, key among the battleground states. Uh, uh, next to Ohio, probably the most important place. Uh, so you are a great thermometer, a, a sort of window into what is going on there. Thank you very much, sir. Thanks for being with us. Thank you, Andrea. Great to be with you. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.